If you still haven't booked your Labor Day vacation, you may want to wait a little bit longer. The best time to pack your bags is after the holiday. Prices drop significantly right after Labor Day. So the best deals on that airfare, hotel or cruise are yet to come. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg is with us. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. Oh, where were you three weeks ago when I booked? Ah, uh, but three weeks ago wasn't <laughs> the time to book. Really now wasn't. the sales are out there and it's because the kids are back in school. Airfares are going to come down because there's more seats to fill, but it starts right now through about the 31st of August and then again right before Labor Day and sales end about Labor Day, but they're good throughout the rest of the year. Okay, so give us an idea. How significant are they? Well, if you were flying today, for example, from New York to Houston, that fare is $254. The day after Labor Day goes down to $165. Wow. St. Louis to Orlando, $352 if you fly today. Day after Labor Day, $118. Atlanta to, uh, to San Diego, a relatively expensive fare, $591, but it drops to $444. That's a significant savings. Yeah, those are some pretty good deals. Yeah. What about international fares, Peter? I, I know tourism, you know, the tourists starting to slow down there. Yeah. So what happens, uh, what happens after Labor Day? I know you found something on the Norwegian Air Shuttle. Yeah, Norwegian Air Shuttle is interesting. These guys are flying to a number of cities in the United States. The fares are ridiculous. No, Los Angeles to Oslo, $498 oh. round trip. Uh, Orlando to Madrid, $863 to round trip. Fort Lauderdale to Rome, 993 But if you compare that to what it is today, it's less than half. Uh, and of course, if you want to fly business class, there are some secret flights out there. There's a company called La Compagnie. They fly between New York and London and New York and Paris. Business class now, if you fly by yourself all in round trip, $1,500. That's like an economy class on a lot of other airlines. Why Less than some economy are class. Are you saying they're secret because you have to know how to book them? Or? Well, no, because it's not well known. And, and, and then if you want to fly with a significant other, all in for two of you, that's all in is 2500 That works out to 1250 a person. Wow. You can't get to Los Angeles for that most of the time. Right. Well, aside from the airfares, yeah. it's hotels and resorts. So let's talk about some of the ones you really like. First up, Orlando, Florida. Well, remember, kids are back in school, so they got a lot of hotel rooms to fill, especially at Disney. They're discounting there, $149 a night, but you've got to book by the 31st. But then it's good through the entire month of September. Uh, and, and that's one. In Napa, you've got one, the Solage Calistoga. If you stay three nights, you get the fourth free. But here's the difference. If you stayed there tonight, it's $806 a night. After Labor Day, it drops to 597 That's significant. You also found some good stuff in right near, near us, Lake Placid, New York. Yeah, the Golden Arrow Lakeside, interestingly enough, today, 175 bucks a night. Right after Labor Day, it drops to 119 But let me add one more thing here. It's not just the rate. Once you get the rate, stay on the phone. Say, hey, can my kids stay free? Will you throw in free parking? What about the Internet? Start negotiating the value-added deals, and guess what? They need to fill the rooms. They might negotiate that. All right. It may be hard to believe right now, but ski season starts soon, <laughs> and you found some deals in Utah? Yeah. Uh, uh, Alto right now, they do the annual ski passes. Got, get it now for the whole year. It's nine ninety nine, and about three weeks, it goes up to eleven ninety nine. So right around Labor Day is when you buy the ski passes. And finally, let's head out to sea and cruise for some savings. So tell about the sale. Tell us about the sale that Holland America is running. Well, this is a wild one because if you book this by September 10th, only three days after Labor Day, they have a cruise in November that goes down to $499 a person. Wow. You can't afford to wake up in New Jersey for 400. <laughs> I mean, this is what they're doing. They got to fill it now. That cruise leaves in November, but you book it now. Yeah. Do you feel like you're getting anything lesser if you're booking it after Labor Day, or is it the exact same resort, the same airfare, the same everything? The same deal. They look at unsold hotel room as revenue. They will never recoup once the sun rises. The same thing applies to the airlines right. and overseas flights. They have bilateral agreements where they have to keep those flights going, or they lose the route. They got to fill the seats. All right, Peter Greenberg. Thanks so much for being with us. You got it. I'm ready to take off.